Well, hello, hello, my beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful evening or day, whatever it is when this uh, gets out. Uh, but uh, I was thinking that today we could do this reading on topic. What do you need to know? So uh, this may be what is happening currently, you know, uh, messages from spirit and just what may happen uh, in the near future for you guys. So that's something interesting. So we will have a couple of uh, piles as usually and uh, let's begin with the first pile. What you guys need to know? What do you need to know? What do you need to know? Let's see. What do you guys need to know? Okay, I feel it's enough. But let's check. What you guys need to know? So, first pile. What I'm getting strongly, you guys may have been hurt in the recent uh, past or something of that nature where somebody betrayed you or uh, they really did something nasty. I want you guys to know that you are getting some type of justice for this event. It may be that somebody was seeking to revenge for something that they perhaps imagined that you guys uh, did or something of that nature. However, you will get your karma, your justice for this event and that's something beautiful. Uh, we do have this theme of bisexuality, so there may be a person uh, whose orientation you may be wondering about, they may be bisexual or you may be the one who is questioning your own orientation. So uh, that's coming strongly in our cards. Uh, and I see that you guys may, currently you may be, or in the near future, in this little bit bothered state of mind where you guys, your mind will be overly, um, you know, just... Uh, overly burdened uh, with many many thoughts and I feel like you guys will have some type of unnecessary trouble, unnecessary worry. This may have already started or uh, it may haven't. Uh, however, you, I need you to know that soon you will find some type of a new idea or new inspiration that will solve this fear of yours. For some of you it will be related uh, with some type of a project that you have been waiting on or you are waiting results so for and for some of you it may be related to some type of teamwork or team setting, uh, team surroundings. Perhaps, this, perhaps there was some little bit weird dynamics uh, when it comes to your work uh, surroundings or with people that you just uh, see on your daily basis. However, you have to know that soon it will be um, eased for you guys and you guys will have some type of a new clarity, new idea that will uh, fix whatever is happening with your colleagues, with your teammates uh, uh, or when it comes to your project, your creative endeavors, you know. We do have Jupiter in the second house, so uh, I'm predicting predicting that for many of you guys uh, you will have some type of an expansion when it comes to finances so uh, if there was some worry even regarding finances these finances I'm predicting that in the near future you guys will have some type of uh, boost to your income or uh, you will get new clients uh, just new opportunity to earn the money will show so you don't have to worry about that you know uh, I am having here uh, Venus in Cancer, so um, some of you may be wondering what's up with some specific person, you know, uh, but I'm 
feeling this strong, strong urge to tell you that this person is really strong on secu security. If you want to uh, elevate your relationship with this person, give them this sense of security, uh, whether it's on physical, psychological, mental or emotional level. So this may be related to all kinds of relationships, not just romantic ones. So uh, that's something also uh, interesting. Uh, for some of you, you may have some type of a little bit of hiccup with some of your friends. Uh, so take that also into consideration, you know. Uh, we do have Saturn in Aries here. So uh, in astrology, when we get Saturn in Aries, that's the place where Saturn is debilitated. So uh, I do have to warn you guys that you may be... Um, perhaps overly burdening yourselves uh, with work, overworking, uh, you know, having some type of a burnout in something. So uh, if you guys don't uh, moderate yourselves, uh, you will be really, uh, how do I say this? Uh, you will become really drained out and uh, I'm fearing that this will influence your physical health. So please, whatever you do, uh, watch out for your physical health and also with this Saturn in Aries some of you guys may have little bit issues with like headaches migraines or anxiety so uh, that's something uh, also that I'm having strongly for some of you you may have some residual um, heartache or trauma or uh, something that's coming to surface currently and it relates to your childhood to some type of trauma that happened uh, when you guys were a little kiddo so uh, please do some shadow work because if you don't do it it will just uh, complicate your processes and perhaps stop you in whatever you are trying to achieve you know uh, for some of you I'm hearing uh, you are in some type of a relationship where this person didn't give you enough but your advice would be to take a step back and let them do the work you know don't do anything be a little bit unavailable uh, and make them work for it because it's their turn to step up the situation so uh, and that's also something interesting let's see if we help have anything else for some of you I do have uh, this recommendation that you guys may wear a little bit more black color when it comes to your clothes because it will ease this influence of this Saturn on you guys uh, which may be now giving you some strong karmic lessons like related to too much uh, burdens uh, overworking you know uh, just dealing with some little bit of frustration and restriction currently so uh, if you want to do some type of a remedy for this Saturn, please wear some black clothes and it will get uh, elevated from you guys. But let's see if we have anything else really significant here. For some of you, I, I'm uh, having hearing this message, you're having some type of pause in your action. Uh, but don't worry too much because it's unnecessary worry. Everything will get back on track uh, really soon, I'm feeling. It's either you will do something or the other people included uh, into this thing will uh, do something to get this thing elevated, to get processes going again. You know, for some of you it may be with the love connection. Uh, it may be the type of a love connection to start, start and stop and start and stop, you know. Uh, but as I already said, your tactic is uh, to remain a little bit mysterious at this point in time, you know. Uh, but let's see what else we do have. For some of you, I'm getting these strong indications that you guys may be getting some further education when it comes to occult knowledge. And it may be related to, uh, you know just online processes so you may be getting a teacher from a foreign land or uh, you know enrolling into some type of a new course uh, related to foreign lands or a uh, worldwide web just you know uh, something that will be done through the internet through the use of mass media and technology so that's something interesting that I 
had to say. We do have the, this Mercury in fourth house, so um, I'm having this strong feeling that you guys may soon be having some uh, gatherings when it comes to your house. I feel like your friends and relatives may come more into your house, especially relatives from the mother's side, so uh, take that also into consideration. Um, what else we have? Mercury is also our writing skills, our communication, so you guys may start to write something just from your home, so for some of you it will be some type of a blog, or for some of you you may even have some assignment that you have to finish, uh, and that you have to do it in your home, you know, uh, things of that nature. Uh, I do see this relationship with friends that is emphasized at this time. Please take that into careful consideration, you know, and be careful when, when it comes to dealing with your friends because I do see some uh, shady behaviors. Uh, there may be some, some type of, for example, gossip between one or two friends that you didn't hear on time and now it hurt your feelings or something of that nature just remember not to take things personally and uh, well that's our thing and let's see if we have anything else for those of you who were waiting some type of documents like passports visas and similar they will come uh, you can expect them and uh, they will come, I feel like, on time, so... Uh, or they may already be done waiting for you guys, you just have to pick it up, you know. Uh, also, soon you, will, you, soon you will be getting some type of uh, new communication or clarity or knowledge when it comes to your craft, when it comes to your hobbies, your activities, your creative work and pursuits, so... Uh, set aside any any worries when it when it comes to that um, but let's see but I believe that was our first pile I have to stop it here uh, if you like this reading like and subscribe and thank you for listening let's go on a little bit further second pile what do you need to know currently so this is what do you need to know currently, like from spirit, and what may transpire in your near future. We are checking on that. So stay tuned. What you guys need to know. What you guys need to know. Okay, for some of you there is a decision that you guys have to make, there may have been some type of challenging information, perhaps some delays when it comes to certain plans, but let's see, you may be feeling currently defeated because there are some delays or obstacles when it comes to certain plans or certain goals. Let's see. Okay. I am having this moon in Pisces, so currently you guys may be very dreaming, uh, imaginative. I feel like you are uh, dreaming and daydreaming about many things currently, you know, especially about this specific uh, decision. Perhaps there you are at the crossroads currently about uh, something we will see here. 
but I feel like you guys are uh, multitasking at this uh, point in time. You are doing many things and one at once you are trying to find balance, you know. Uh, but I feel this strong need to tell you that you have to prioritize and delegate because you can't continue like that uh, for too long, you know. Um, as I already said, there's this strong feeling of defeat or not being recognized or not being appreciated. For some of you, perhaps when it comes to your knowledge or specific type of information or knowledge that you possess or that you delivered to somebody, uh, you know, some of you I'm feeling uh, have given some people some type of knowledge or information and they just didn't appreciate that or this may happen, something of that nature, but try to, you know, detach from that, it's just somebody's opinion uh, about something so it doesn't need to uh, bother you too much you know uh, we do have this Mars in the fourth house so be careful uh, not to get into some type of arguments when it comes to your home uh, when it comes to your family members and uh, you know because the energy may be heated a little bit in the near future you know, so just take that into consideration and also with Mars in the fourth house, be especially careful when it comes to your, you know, Owen and uh, just anything because there may be this heightened danger of fire uh, and things of that nature, you know, uh, so uh, just be careful, check everything. Uh, ironing board and similar things uh, before you go out of the house uh, that's what I felt uh, strong need to tell you guys uh, and let's see what else we do have this north node in the sixth house uh, so you guys may be dealing currently with some you may have some excessive and unnecessary worry also as well because sixth house is the house of health as well and I do recommend that you should um, give more attention to your work and to your health awareness, you know, uh, because I'm feeling like for some of you, you're not uh, taking all the implements for your health that you should be taking. Like, for example, if you often take vitamins and calcium, I feel like you guys may have skipped or you may do so in the near future like some necessary ingredients that you take on your daily level so uh, be be a little bit more organized and cautious, cautious when it comes to matters of your health because sixth house may get activated you know um, or you may have some sudden little hurts like uh, cuts or bruises and similar so uh, let's go on a little bit more. We do have this moon in the 11th house. So I feel like you guys will be strongly focused and motivated when it comes to your finances and uh, when it comes to your, uh, you know, just income and uh, how much you earn. There will be a lot of uh, wondering when it comes to financial management. Uh, but now is now it's time to bring some meditated uh, and contemplated decisions when it comes to your finances. So be careful to weigh all the pros and cons and options here when it comes to your finances. Perhaps investments for some of you I'm hearing. Uh, don't be like Aries when it comes to your investments, but be more like Capricorn, you know explore everything uh, just check check everything uh, three times before you decide to put your money into anything or before you even decide to pay for something like buy something or things of that nature because i'm feeling in this current period you may be less satisfied with your for example online purchases and things of that nature you know uh so that's something also interesting. We do have this Virgo in 8th house. So for some of you, I'm having this strong feeling that you may be considering some type of work when it comes to either a cult, either like emergency services like ER, uh, firefighters, I don't know, police, 
um, whichever jobs are, uh, you know, that they that have to respond immediately, you guys may uh, have this urge to initiate yourselves uh, into this arena, you know. And I feel like this is the good period to do so uh, for those of you who are having those, to those thoughts, you know. Uh, so uh, we do have this Mercury in Scorpio, so there may be some changes when it comes to your uh, relative and friend circle, you know. Uh, there, there will, I feel like, be some type, little bit of surprises and a shock or two when it comes to your relationships uh, with your friends uh, and just close your community so take that into consideration be very uh, be very protective of yourselves uh, for example some secrets uh, may surface or something of that nature when it comes to your friends uh, and what else we have mm. let's see we do have Mars in the first house, so I'm feeling for many of you, you may undertake some new physical activities, start going to the gym, start doing yoga, uh, you know, take that new nature or, for example, biking, hobby, something very physical that you may initiate, that you may start. Uh, so uh, that's something also uh, interesting here. Yes, we do have a couple of indications of fitness uh, you guys may become fitness bump be fitness buff you know uh, take all these protein shakes and uh, similar supplements you know just to elevate your health as I said in the beginning but let's see what else we have mm. I feel I'm feeling like uh, you may delay some little bit of your progress due, due to multitasking so uh, I feel like if you gar, guys prioritize and drop a thing or two that is not of an absolute uh, importance you will get faster to something that you guys want to achieve you know so uh, that's also something interesting but let's see mm, what else some of you may be feeling a little bit uh, defeated due to some type of gossip that you may hear or uh, something of that nature, some rumors. But uh, I'm hearing strongly that you don't have to be bothered by that because truth will be soon found here because it will not last. Uh, if it is whatever, if somebody told some type of lies when it comes to you guys or uh, false statements uh, it won't last because the truth will soon be found out and everything will get settled you know uh, for some of you you will get some information as to why something failed or why it didn't uh, go as you guys wanted it to go you will have uh, a very clear idea uh, somebody will tell you something you will get something revealed so that's beautiful for some of you I'm feeling you will get some type of closure to that information and for the others it will help you to get some situation going uh, into your uh, advantage you know uh, because you will have some type of information that you didn't have and this will uh, fasten the process you know uh, for some of you I am uh, feeling the love coming in your life you know it may be water sign uh, we do have strong cancer and Scorpio here uh, and that's also something interesting I've, I'm feeling like somebody is deeply in love with you guys and uh, for many of you this feeling will be mutual so this may be uh, the person that you guys are feeling deeply as well if you were wondering about their feelings uh, they are on board you know uh, so love may be coming into your life and some of you this will be something from before that didn't really uh, ended well or um, it may be a past relationship that will be revived you know uh, so interesting pile but let's see if we have anything else worthy of mentioning mm -hmm. 
I feel like some of you guys may not be open to this uh, offer because you may feel feel overburdened by something else or by thinking that you may have perhaps invested too much and haven't gotten really enough from this connection until now. So uh, try to open yourselves a little bit more if you want this person, this connection. Uh, but let's see, work on work on your equanimity of mind because I'm feeling your heart chakra is utterly blocked. Uh, nothing is getting in currently. You are in your intellectual mold. Um, but let's see. Mm -hmm. We do have Saturn in Scorpio. So for those of you who are going through a very turbulent life period like uh, disaster, like events are happening suddenly and intensely uh, rest assured that everything will be okay you know stability will return to your life because Saturn when it's when it's in Scorpio it gives this uh, colding coldish influence you know uh, so everything that was unsettled unstable uh, that wasn't fixed in our lives it gets fixed it gets back on track it gets uh, into normal gets into a routine so for those of you who were lacking stability in your life and stay just stable routine when it comes to your life uh, it will get uh, back to you guys so um, but it's interesting let's see if we have anything else uh, I'm having this strong feeling uh, that some of you guys may be maybe having a little bit of respiratory problems so for some of you it will be asthma related uh, please do check your health uh, as I already said uh, give your health health uh, larger importance in this period uh, because it will pay off for you guys so uh, Yes, but I believe that was our second pile. I hope you liked this reading. If you did, like and subscribe. And thank you for listening.